what are you doing in Marrakesh, Morocco? <laughs> I am davening for my Moroccan husband. <laughs> Wait a second, guys, I gotta tell you something. Here I am in Marrakesh, Morocco, and then all of a sudden I run into Shira and our friend Leah Goldman, and then we end up in this incredible, incredible cemetery. Well, you know what? It's not really such a far off thing because people from all over the world come here to daven in the spot in the merit of these great tzaddikim. Like, I heard Pintos are here. Yeah, for sure. The Cohen is here. Actually, I'll tell you. Hold on. Take, check it out. Come close. Come close. We want to tell you about this because we're, we're tripping out because so many of our friends, ancestors, are buried in this very plot with over 20,000 Jewish souls and 650 tzaddikim. So we have... If you are Moroccan, your people are here. Yeah, so check this out. If this is your family, we got some of your ancestors. Abisera, a bit bull. We know you, David, David, David a bit bull. Amar, Azug, Azulai. Those are like... Mili, I know you're here, people. All my your people are here. Ben Atar, Bitson, Bobat, Dahan, El Fasi. Dahan, Gabai, what's up, Maria? Deb, your people are here. Hazan, hello, Stephen, Moshe, and Joanna. Um, Ohayon, Kaduri, Oziel, Kinsel, Timsit. It's 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 amazing how many people Alana, are here. Alana, you went and got a bracha from Rabbi Pinto. Yeah, Hakohen, Halevi. So this place is filled with your ancestors. Why are we telling you about all this? It was crazy. We walked around and there are so many kfarim of great gedolim, dayanim, tzaddikim that are not preserved or well kept and it's a, it's a big mitzvah to take care and, and to bury the dead. Now it's not like I'm going to sit here and dirty my hands doing that, but I did give tzedakah and you can too. So, right, so I'll tell you the story. We had the privilege of staying by the Ohayon family and the, the gever of the home, the, the man of the house is responsible for the community and a year and a half ago he decided to renovate this entire cemetery. He it took was, it on himself because yeah. he saw the condition that, that these holy Jews were living by. It was, it was filled with trash, grass up to here, he said snakes everywhere, he called it Pach al he was totally scared to enter, but now um, you're going to see in a minute how beautifully they've preserved this and really done chesed shel emet, they're, they're contributing to, to preserving the memory of Moroccan heritage, Moroccan Jewish heritage. So. It's actually a mixed blessing because so many of the Moroccan Jewish community have made Aliyah, have left this place and gone to Israel or made lives for themselves outside of Morocco. One of the things they were telling us is that there was a huge, huge Moroccan Jewish community. In fact, the entire uh, Mila, the marketplace that was here, was all Jewish. And um, they made Aliyah, they left, they, they went in the night at two in the morning and they just left their businesses and everything to go and make a better life for themselves and their children. They weren't Shaduchim, there wasn't a future here. They were getting hit with pogroms all the time by the Arabs, and so they left. But that doesn't mean that their ancestors left. And so, in so fact as you are enjoying the nice life that you live, not outside of Morocco, but you're so proud of your Moroccan Jewish heritage, <laughs> Somebody has to come here and hold down the fort and um, so we, the we got, Ohio family, that's what right. they are so doing. So we got some numbers and some information on how you can help. It costs approximately 25 to $36 to preserve just one kever. They're putting in hundreds of dollars every day, but look, you know, for just a small donation, you can really, really make a difference. We hope to, Bezrat Hashem, and uh, thank you so much for listening, and uh, we hope that you'll give generously because preserving Jewish heritage all over the world is mamish huge and awesome and, and by the way, one of the greatest Jewish mitzvahs you can do because there is no, you know, um, kavod for doing this. When you give the tzedakah on this one, nobody knows. And, you know, it's, they don't know who you are. It's the greatest, greatest level right. that you can give. So, okay, so and finally, Taklis. <laughs> Taklis, I, I did money. not know why the heck I was coming to Morocco. Like, I was just like, on a whim. Shira got to the airport with Leia and they were like, they just, and, and I just, we all just sort of ended up here and there's no stomp, nothing is random, souls travel together and I definitely feel like part of the reason that we ended up here is to help promote this awesome mitzvah, especially because we know so many awesome Moroccan friends and family. So that's or you. those who love Moroccan people. Yeah. Holla! <laughs> Can, yeah.